Hi, this is Dr. Kimberly Leonard, and you're listening to the Incredible Life Creator Podcast Show, the place to hear stories from global influencers, trailblazers, cutting edge visionaries, and empowered entrepreneurs from all walks of life who are examples of living and leading an incredible life where living life on purpose and leaving a legacy is their sole focus. As you listen to these episodes, you will be inspired to leverage their teachings and experience to discover your passion and purpose and to create an incredible life of your dreams. Feel free to subscribe, share, and listen often. If you are watching on YouTube, hit the notification bell so you're notified whenever a new episode is released. At the end of today's podcast, I'll outline how you can get the best value from each podcast. But now I'm privileged to introduce Ao from um, AC Empire. Hey, Kim, it is such a pleasure to be here with you and finally do this interview. Yes, I'm so excited about this because um, I met you because I'm actually a client. And so exactly I'll introduce you to everyone. But let me just read your introduction so people know who you are. OK, yes, absolutely. All right. So Ao started her journey as a digital nomad 11 years ago when she discovered her interest in media and her gift for advertising. Her greatest desire is not only to assist businesses to attract, convert, and close the right clients, but to help entrepreneurs to make some good money so they can live their best life. Ayo has a double bachelor degree in publishing and public relations and a master's in journalism that she obtained in the Netherlands. She specialized in video production, storytelling, and writing, radio, TV broadcasting, and photography. So welcome to the podcast and so excited to get into this and introduce you because I know you work and um, you are effective and efficient and get it done. Yes, girl, you know, you know that this is our motto, get, get shit done. This is, this is what me and my beautiful business partner, this is our mantra. We repeat this all the time and thank you so much for this uh, beautiful intro. When I was listening to it, I was like, yes, let's make some money now. <laughs> yeah, so just so uh, people can get to know you, why don't you kind of start from the beginning? Because you started, I think, in corporate and did some other things. So where right. did you start out and how did you get to be this digital nomad? Awesome. So you are right. In the beginning, I started from a corporate uh, background as a journalist. I was working for National Geographic and other big media outlets out there. I was living my best life. I loved it. I traveled the entire world. I spent a lot of time in Africa uh, doing safaris, filming wildlife. It was dream come true for real. Like I was living my best life and it was fantastic until it wasn't. And I woke up one morning at 4 a.m. in the morning and I thought, I'm not creating the impact that I want to create. And it felt like, wow, am I really saying that? Because all my life, and you said it, I have all these degrees in journalism, social media, all that. And the reason to go through that journey was because when I was eight, I knew I wanted to be part of National Geographic's team. And... I couldn't believe that one morning I'm waking up and I'm just like, okay, this is it. I just need to take the big leap and I need to do what I have to do. And I was well aware that I don't want to have a boss anymore. I want to have the space to express myself fully and help as many people as possible. I, I knew I wasn't living my purpose. And when you're not living your purpose, it's like you tell the universe, well, universe, thank you so much for giving me all this potential, but fuck off right? And that is not what, that is not what we are here. We're here to fully step into our gifts and express them. And I just had to quit my job by nine to five. And I thought, okay, let me use all this experience because I already had quite a lot of background with social media. I had a lot of background with advertising. I was already working with premium clients all over the world with, with Nat Geo and other companies that I work with. I had all this understanding of social media and the online space. So I was like, what am I doing? I just have to, you know, make this big jump and believe in myself that I can start my own company. And you know, when sometimes when you make a decision in life, the universe is testing you. Are you serious about that? Because the true winners 
And people who achieve their goals are people who make a decision and stick to it. No matter what happens, you're so focused on what you want, even though things happen, you're still like, okay, I want this. So I opened my company, my first marketing agency, and then I got so sick, literally that same week I was rushing to hospital and I almost died. And I was supposed to not do anything for three months. Like I was forbidden. I was supposed to be only in bed to recover. I said, nope, that's not going to work. I want to do this. And I went the first week when I went out of the hospital, I went knocking on doors, hardcore, like a salesperson with my little iPad. And I was like, hey, I have a digital marketing agency and I can help you get a lot of clients. You want to do that? And then I closed five clients in my first day. And all the people that I work with were new entrepreneurs. These were young people. These were people that just start with the beauty salons, their uh, fitness studios, their Pilates studios, all that. And for me, what I saw then, it was like, okay, I'm finally stepping into what I truly want to do. And ever since then, you know, the story, then things just escalated. There were a lot of ups and downs, which is what entrepreneurship is all about. You know, uh, everyone is glamorizing it. If it was so perfect, everyone will be having their own business, basically. But then I met my business partner. It was in a moment where COVID was happening and my business was scaling phenomenally. I had so many clients that I couldn't handle it because everyone was going digital. And we partnered up. And ever since then, you know us, we are this crazy duo, which is just phenomenal. Work is no longer just work. It's fun. And it's all about creating success stories. This is our main, my main focus in this business in life is to truly create a success story and move people from one point and help them go where they want to go. Wonderful. So um, why don't you tell people a little bit about what you're doing now and with your business partner, Carol, what like services mm -hmm. you offer and, and just so they know what you're talking about. So right now we have two different businesses. One of them is our marketing agency where we provide done for you services, which is every little thing you can think about that comes with an online business, whether if it's creating your website, your landing pages, helping you with your copy, your emails, your social media, getting you out there and doing all these tech stuff that no one wants to be stuck in doing all day long. You know, like it can take you hours and hours instead of outsourcing it and giving it to someone. So this is one part of the business that, that we have. And it has been a phenomenal success in the last one year because more and more business owners understand that if you're not in the online space and you dominate it, it's really not going to work. It's really not going to happen because everyone is out there, especially now with COVID and everything that happened. Everyone is on Zoom. Everyone is on social media. Everyone is checking online stuff. So this is what our agency does. Our agency, we are, I, I, I call my um, team members, they're like little fairies and magicians because all of them, they just do all these little stuff like Santa Claus, you know, he has uh, his elves and these are my elves because they're so like always doing stuff. This is one part of the agency. And we also specialize in launches, ads, um, all these things that you can possibly think in need in the online space. And then the other part is the consulting part, the coaching part, where we hold by the hand our business owners because it is so freaking scary, especially in the beginning or in stages when you want to scale because your family, your friends, they don't know. They have zero clue what it's like to be a business owner. You need the help of people who have been there. And most of all, you need the advice of people who made it. Now, made it is like a, everyone has their own description of making it, but you need the advice of people who make the amount of money and success that you want to have. So we consult also business owners. We also have programs. We shifted to programs and teaching a 
uh, a bigger amount of people, our students as well, where we teach them our ways and the ways that we practice with our clients as well. So it's this complete holistic solution because we saw a gap in the market. You have all these coaches that are teaching you strategies. Yeah, you need a Facebook group. Yeah, you need to run ads. Yes, you need this. And then people are like, oh shit, now I need to go and do it. I have no idea how to do it. What am I supposed to do? And people just quit. They are like, okay, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to postpone it because this is a lot. And we thought, oh my God, this is where the problem is. This is why there's constant procrastination and people not doing things that they want to do because they're overwhelmed. But all these do this, do this strategy, the five day, whatever, go do a challenge, do this, do that, have a TikTok, have a clubhouse, have all this. But then when work needs to be done, that's when we come to do the work for you. Which is great. Gosh, when you're doing all that, how can you do your own work <laughs> for one thing? Right? <laughs> you're still running a business on top of, it's almost like a business on top of a business when you have to do both. It's so much and it's so overwhelming. For example, yesterday we had a problem with a, one of our payment processors and we were checking with Carol all the emails coming back and forth, back and forth, because we still manage our, we have an accountant, but when you go deeper into our um, monies, we want to make sure that we are in charge of that. And we were reading this email with codes and coding and numbers, and this is what you need to do. And I just asked her, I'm like, this is what business owners need to deal with. Business owners have so many things to do. And now on top, now you make it so complicated for them. What is happening here? What is happening? You, you're not supposed to, as a business owner, do 20,000 things because you're doomed. The minute you do that, the minute you get into the trap of this and this and this, okay, I need to do that. I need to do everything. You're not a business owner anymore. That's not the name. You're an, an employee in your own business. Exactly. Exactly. Now you talked about, you know, patterning after someone who is doing what you want to do. And you were sharing with me a big goal that you guys just realized. So you want to talk about that? Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. So I basically shared right before uh, the, the interview with Kimberly, because she's also a friend of ours that we achieved. I don't know if you remember, but last year when we connected, I was all the time bragging. I want to hit uh, seven figures. I want to hit seven figures. I want to hit seven figures. It was my thing. And um, everyone was like, okay, can't you talk about something else? But the reason why I wanted to hit seven figures was not because of um, validation or whatever. It was just a mark in business. It's very important to hit your first seven figures and then aim at eight figures. So when you have a million, to have 10 million. So... I, it's so funny because I'm going to share with you now how I actually realized it. And we go again back to being a business owner and doing so much. Um, I was so caught up these last few months, really pushing. And my, my work in our business is normally I, I do the prospecting. So I was so caught up in doing that, talking to people. There's also so many beautiful things happening that I was not checking the numbers. I'm guilty. I wasn't like probably the last time we went through numbers, which uh, business owners don't do that checking numbers every single month. We do have an accountant. So I'm getting a little bit lazy with that. Carol is also checking the numbers uh, more often than I do, but I was on, on the beach and it's so funny because I was on the beach and when I was traveling to the beach, I had this thought, okay, when are we crossing this, this number as a new company? We have been in business with this company for 17 months, basically. And then I see literally seven or more missed calls than, than that from Carol. And I'm like, why are you calling me? You know, I'm, I'm on the beach. Why are you calling me? She's calling me. And I was in the water. It's so funny because I was in the water and she's like, hey, yo, um, just to let you know that. And she was so calm. Just to let you know that the accountant just gave me a call and we made seven figures. And I was just like, are you what are you sure 
So she sends me a screenshot and I see that I'm in the water and I started crying so hard and loud. It was probably people thought that I'm crazy. I started choking and I said, listen, I'm going to die probably now from this information. I'm going to give you a call after that. Mm-hmm. And I was, it was, it was really like a movie scene because I was in the middle of, of the sea with my phone talking to Carol, realizing that crying people looking at me. And the reason why I got so emotional is because we now see all these people talking about success and making seven figures, six figures, whatever figures. And no one talks about the journey, right? No one talks about what does it take to get to these numbers? And what does it mean actually to get to these numbers? So for me, this was so rewarding after a very intense year of everything happening all the time. So we are still processing it. We are celebrating it. In fact, I went for a vacation this weekend to celebrate exactly that because we as business owners, also we focus on the negative and we're like, ah, damn it, this is not working. And when something massive happens, we're like, oh, okay, cool, next thing. We don't take the time to celebrate it. So I feel right now so motivated by this because, you know, when you do, do, do things and you're like, oh, and then when this happened for me, it's like proving that we're doing something right. (laughs) We are on the right track. So everything is worth it. All these hours, all this working on the weekends. No one is taking photos of you working at 3 a.m. and you look like something that the cat throw up, right? No one is taking these photos. Everyone is on by the pool, chilling with their expensive champagne, with their bags and this and jewelry. And I love speaking about being real in, in what you do and authentic because people smell it. They just smell it. It's, you can't avoid it. Yeah. yeah. So you talk about, you know, the grind and actually putting in the work But then there's another piece. What does your spiritual life and the spirituality have to do with success? Right. Well, we always like to say that, you know, there's a saying that it's 95% mindset and it's 5% strategy where we, from our perspective and our experience, we actually say that it's 50-50. It's 50% the strategy and the work and the systems and everything you want to build so that you have a sustainable business that will not collapse because of pandemic, because of someone getting sick. I had COVID and I wasn't able to work for a whole month because of these systems nothing happened to the business. Imagine there wasn't a system, but it's also, it has a lot to do with this other world of energy, of vibrations and frequencies and seeing your business and making money and and success. What is the other side of it? For example, if you wanna achieve success, you really have to be with the mentality and the mindset that you are there to create success for other people. You always have to be, okay, how can I serve? How can I help? Because the truth is businesses that help others are the businesses that thrive. Think about it. I don't want to mention different companies, but if you really think about about companies that really scaled in a very short time, was was our companies that are delivering something which really makes a difference in the world. And then another thing is that we tapped into these, as I started this, when I was talking about purpose, right? Tapping into this power that we all have. It's not only me, it's not only you. We all have everyone who's watching this. Everyone is capable of doing that. Absolutely everyone. Now it's a matter of you actually really wanting to do that, desiring it working have a lot of inner work because I always say that what the the person that you are with yourself in your inner world it mirrors in your relationships in your business and in everything so we had to do a lot of work in this one year a lot of energy clearing a lot of inner child wounds healing feminine masculine all these really posh words that now everyone is using but indeed we have to do it because 
sales, there's a lot of energy to sales. Everything is energy. Everything is vibration, including this, what, what's happening right now. It is all vibrations, thoughts, and frequencies. That's, it's so simple. And if you want to build a business that you want to really thrive, it has to be something that comes from the soul. It's a soulful business. It's a heart-centered thing. That is when you will definitely have a reward for yourself as well. And at the end of the day, even if you have 16 hours of work, you're like, it's worth it because my soul was in this, right? Wonderful. So do you have any practices that you do each day, like a morning practice or something that just gets you centered or ready to, you know, ready for the day? Yeah, I, I do have a morning routine and, a, and an evening routine. And every time when I skip it, I see that things are going woo -woo 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 like this. So I do have a morning routine. Um, I can quickly share some of the things that I do in the morning and I have a, an evening routine as well. My morning routine is basically, it includes meditation. The first thing that I do when I open my eyes, I meditate for 10 minutes, I visualize, I, I build my day and the way I want it to be, I work on my energies because in relationships and businesses relationships, it's about this. So you will feel if I'm off and you will have this feeling of like, I don't really vibe with this person. You know, when you just don't vibe with someone and you can't, you're like, they haven't offended me. They haven't done anything. Well, it's because there's something off with them, their energy, they projected on you. So I make sure when I'm still in bed, I meditate, I visualize, and I also listen. I have a, a life script where I scripted my life and what I want to achieve with my business, with myself, with my goals and how I see myself. And that takes me about 20 minutes in the morning, this whole thing while I stretch in bed and get up. When I get up, I do a very quick um, gratitude list as well. I do a mirror work. I have a very beautiful mirror, which is always next to me. No matter where I go, uh, right now you're catching me at home. But even if I travel, because I travel a lot, I always do this. I have this amazing um, book that you can erase the text and you can write. And it's so slim and I travel with it because I write my affirmations, my gratitude. It takes one hour in the morning, every single morning. I make sure that I stretch, I move my body. I set an intention. What is the day going to be like? I see people becoming victims. They're like, uh, they're victims of their own selves. Like they don't understand that they truly have the power to create their life and how they want to see it. Their attitude, the way they wake up, you know, uh, Earl Nightingale says the magical world is attitude. So that's what I do in the morning before I start my business. And I also I say a few affirmations that have to do with my business. So how I'm going to serve my people? Am I going to be 100% there for them? How I'm going to interact with uh, prospects? What kind of income I'm going to have this week or that day? And then my evening um, practice is, again, gratitude for what happened this day. And I read. I read something for an hour that I know that is going to either help me with my business or my development or will boost my uh, creativity and yeah and also be active be very active physically because we get stuck on this chair and energy does not flow when you don't move that's called energy is motion emotions motion it has to move what happens with water that stays it smells right but the water that moves is the water that transforms. And that's what we want to be in our business and in our life. We just want to flow, right? So these are just one of the things that, it's a lot of inner work that you have to do, but it pays off at the end of the day. Yeah. So um, if someone wanted to be a nomad, you know, that's kind of popular right now to be a nomad yes. and be able to yeah. travel about, what would be one or two, bits of advice you would tell them as far as 
just starting out that journey? I will say uh, build a business, sustainable business that can exist when you're not there. And what, what do I mean by that? So even though your business might not be an uh, online business, create something, think from the beginning. That's why I always advise my clients and students, think eight steps ahead. This business, where do you want to get it? Do you want to travel the world with this business? Or do you want to have this place where you just stay in one space? And there's a lot of um, businesses which are location dependent, but yet the way you build it, do you have a team? Do you have a structure that you can leave every second month, for example, right? Is it allowing you? That's with, with location-based um, services. You just have to build it in a way that you can travel the world. So have the team, have the resources, think, okay, if I leave, what will happen? Plan, have financial planning. You see, now we get more into the business, not in the woo-woo type of things. With an online business, it's so easy. I mean, you do just need laptop and Wi-Fi, nothing else. But again, you need a system. Why? Because when you travel, you want to have the time to also go and explore. For example, now when I was in Mexico, I will build my day that in the morning, I will wake up early, like 5 a.m. in the morning. And then until nine o'clock, I will finish all the really important things that bring what? Income, mm -hmm. right? Income generating activities. And then I will explore during the day. And when I come back, I will work a couple of more hours to wrap up the day. It's super easy. As long as you want it, there shouldn't be any excuses. My biggest advice is stop coming up with reasons why it will not work. Come with a reason why it will work because if you want it to work, it will. If you don't want, you'll find the next excuse and the next, and the next one. I mean, people right now have a nomad world they have five kids and they still travel the world and they have these online businesses for absolutely anything and everything and my last advice will be do something that you really love doing and it does not feel like work because if it does feel like that it's going to clash with that nomad type of living of you traveling and experiencing because you will always be like um, but I want to explore and I want to experience and now I have to work. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. So, yeah. Uh, if people wanted to um, employ you, your services uh, or contact you, how do they find you? The best way to find us is connect with us in our um, group, our uh, Facebook group. It's called Future Business empire this is where we are so guys if anything that i said so far resonates with you and it's touching every fiber of your being then by all means please connect with us come and hang with us in our beautiful community just feel our energy check out our lives see how we do stuff and i am sure that we will be able to help you all right. Well, a personal question for you now. What gives you the most happiness and fulfillment in your life at this point? I will definitely say walking in my path and experiencing what I am here for every minute, like being so present in everything that I do and through experiencing myself and focusing on that, and truly feeling it, right? And being present into that experience, allowing everything around me to unfold, be it my business, be it my personal life. I'm, I am on this journey right now where I truly, every single experience that come to me, I am 100% present. And that brings me so much joy. Even in, in, in difficult moments, I can zoom out and still see okay, the, the positive of it. Beautiful. Well, thank, thank you. you so much for being on the podcast today. And um, I do have one last question. 
Go what for it. is your best advice for living an incredible, amazing life? My best advice for living an amazing life is being very honest with what you want. Okay? You sit down and you look at yourself from the mirror. You let the guard down and you ask yourself, what do I really want? And whatever it is, just let your imagination go wild, write it down, and then allow yourself to experience it. Stop putting yourself in a box. Stop putting your work in a box, your creativity, your desires, your relationships, yourself. Open up, heal as much as possible, because a heart which still carries on some things and trauma cannot really experience this fulfilled life that you're talking about. And just be in everything that comes to you, whatever it is, even if it's a challenging situation in your business, know that it's part of experiencing this life right here, right now. When you stop judging things, oh, this is this and this is, this is bad, this is good. Everything just is when you come from that mentality and living like that, even when things start to shake, you're still centered, right? You're still like, okay, I'm okay with that. Thank you. I love that so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. And my purpose in broadcasting Incredible Life Creator is to inspire you to live a happier, healthier, and more prosperous life. In doing so, you influence and inspire those around you to do the same. There are six ways you can help assist me to influence more people on this planet. One, if there is a topic or person you would like to hear from, please let me know in the comments on my YouTube channel, Incredible Life Creator. If you are a global influencer, trailblazer, cutting edge visionary, empowered entrepreneur, and would like to be interviewed, then fill in the application form and let's arrange a one hour free consultation session to see what could be possible. If you are interested in launching your own podcast, then let's talk. If you know of anyone who is looking for a standout keynote speaker, then I'm now offering keynote speaking services on leading and living an incredible life. I'm also interested in being booked on as a guest on high profile shows nationally and internationally. So if you know booking agents or people who organize speaking, just let me know that too. And last but not least, as most of you know, I'm a doctor of behavioral optometry spanning three decades. In September of this year, I'm excited to officially announce that I will be launching the global venture passion project I've been working for months called Optic Brain Fit, which is like CrossFit for your brain. It's a new technology which combines vision, brain, and movement simultaneously. It can be used for rehabilitation, enhancement, maintenance of a person's physical, mental, and emotional functioning ability. It can be used in a wide variety of demographics, special needs to children, to athletes, to adults, to executives, to the elderly. The technology works on a gradient, allowing each participant to be progressing and learning beginning at their level that is doable and incre increasing the grade. It can be used with nonverbal, low vision and functioning individuals, as well as elite athletes, C-suite executives and intellectual geniuses. I'm excited to share more about this project in the coming months. And if you find some interest in it, or there's um, some interest, just let me know by messaging me. And finally, please, uh, the official, please subscribe, like, listen, share, <laughs> so, so that we can spread the word to more people. And I really appreciate everybody listening. And thank you, Ao, for being here today and all your wonderful wisdom. Thank you so much to everyone's success. All right, we'll talk to you again soon.